All right, uh, we call this special meeting to order at uh, just after 6.30. And the first item on there is the public hearing, which Ruthina has volunteered to read. Okay. <laughs> now is the time and place for the public hearing on the proposed plans and specifications for the City High School Phase 2 project. The Board of Directors set the date for this public hearing on May 14, 2019. Notice the public hearing was published in the Iowa City Press Citizen on May 15, 2019. The district will receive bids on this project at 2 p.m. June 27, 2019 at the ICCSD Educational Services Center located at 1725 North Dodge Street, Iowa City, Iowa 52245. Notice to contractors was published as required by law in multiple statewide plan rooms and on the Iowa City Community School District website on May 15, 2019. Are there any questions from the board? Has there been any change in scope on this project? A lot. Can you bring us up to date on yeah, that? Yeah, you want to do it with the public hearing or with the actual item that you're about to pass? I hope. Yeah. The I mean, I don't, I don't want to get out of order here. I mean, the changes are in the, the stuff that's in the next. Yeah, like I've got a lot more to share with you, but I don't know if you want if you want to do it as part of the public hearing. That's fine. So you can do it now. Well, we took four bids. All four bids were over budget. What, okay. what was the what were the range of the bids? They ranged from thirty one million one thirty seven to thirty two million three hundred. Okay. And it, the low bid was five million two five six over budget. Uh, we took it back in the budget, the, the, the construction cost estimate, the most recent one I had before the last bid date was $26 million plus. So I asked the design team to come in. We spent two entire days. And then the design team was all the architects, the structural engineers, mechanical engineers, civil engineers. We all sat in the room for two solid days, plus the administrators from City Hall. And I took them through what we call value engineering. And in that process, we actually went through each discipline. We rated, we rated items from A, things that we would all accept to remove from the scope, down to D, things that were critical to keep in the scope. So we went through that. The first day we identified them all, then the design team went back and actually re-estimated the cost of each one of those individual items. And on the second full day, we reviewed them line by line. I, I, it was painful for some of them, but I drove them through it and uh, then we prioritize them. If there's any dispute, I put the letter on it, A, B, C, or D, based on what the district thought we you know, should have. Fortunately, we're able to go through and identify almost $4 million in things that could be changed, ceilings that didn't need to be in the wrestling room, you know, things like that, and uh, that everybody could live with. And we, and we did this without reducing any space within the building itself. So they were pleased. We then reviewed all of those changes with the uh, cabinet, Steve and his cabinet level, and uh, we recommended four different options. One, to do nothing to rebid and take a chance, which is a bad option. Two was to in, in, to include all the changes as recommended and rebid it, uh, because we feel like we reduced it more than 10%, which is really what you need to do. I, I, we work by the rule of 10%. You need to reduce the scope by more than 10% to put it out to rebid. If it's less than 10%, you probably have some flexibility to renegotiate with the contractor. Uh, so knowing that we exceeded $3 million in our changes, we decided the best route was to do that. The other option is to go back and totally redesign it. And probably, and we discussed what those options would be as part of this, and the, probably the best option, but not a, not a really uh, good option, was to remove the wrestling room and put it out as a future project. We know by reducing the wrestling room, we can reduce the amount of excavation and work that we needed to do in the project, and we could significantly reduce it and then put it off as a future extended facility master planning project. So we opted to accept the changes from the group and rebid it. We also discovered during the process that immediately after a bid, I actually interviewed a couple of the estimators for the contractors, and they pointed out to me some areas that they felt were weak in the design. Uh, for example, there was a, the, the original building 
with a new building next to it, you know, where the courtyard and the commons area, the engineer actually had placed a foundation wall underneath the existing foundation wall of the building. And to underpin an old building like that is, one, it's risky, and two, it's expensive. So by moving that wall to in a foot and a half and not doing the underpinning that was designed, we estimated we could save close to a million dollars. And that, those, that, was, that came from the estimate. And then they had several other options, the acoustical ceilings and things like that. And so we, we discussed every one of those, and then we approached Steve and the cabinet. So we think we can move forward and rebid this. Now, everybody's under the understanding that even with those changes, uh, and for example, you know, I don't want to make drag the meeting on, but nutritional services came up with 148,000, civil 138,000, structural 966,000, the wall I just talked about. 800,000 in mechanical, 300,000 in electrical. Architectural, we identified a million six. Summary was $4 million that we can take out of the project based on current estimates. But we all realize that that doesn't come to fruition, that the, only, the next step is to go back and redesign City High and bring a project in that we can afford to build. So that's <coughs> that was our recommendation. Excuse me. What's the cost of it to redesign? Just the design? Oh, re well, to redesign, There'd be another uh, million, about a million to take the rest of the room out of it. No, he's asking about the design costs. Oh, the costs. What's the cost of oh, this? right now we're about $150,000, $160,000, I think. So but it wouldn't be that much if we redid it. Oh, easy. Probably just the work we've done to date, we've added that much. So to go back, the original contract was a million dollars, but I suspect they're, they're somewhat obliged to bring us a project in budget as well, so we'd have to negotiate the actual cost. So. And I pointed that out to them. You know, so the paragraph such and such in the agreement says, you know, you're obliged to bring us the project. Now, if we change it on, then we're obliged to pay the extra. So if we remove the wrestling room and there's some rework there, we'll be on the hook for that. But we're not obliged to play if, if the design can't come in at the estimate. Within reason. I would agree with you. Five million dollars over is within reason, right? No, it's not. But it, their, their design was based on the, a professional cost estimate that we had that was at $26 million. It was on It was right on the money when we accepted the design the way it was. And who did that, who did that work? BLDD or the, or the estimate. The estimate. Stecker Ham, Harmson, it's a company in Ames, Iowa that's been doing for years. And they've done other projects for us as well. Stecker Harmson, they've done every project done we've done. So this is the one we've used all along. Yes. Okay, so you, we um, redid it, took out four million. So now we're looking at a million over budget with the wrestling room still in. With the wrestling room still there, but we feel like the other part of this is that the builders were pretty busy, and it was a short time period, and it was probably after we should have we should have been in January, okay. but we didn't. They weren't ready. It was March. Uh, not that the builders have less to do now, but this is a project that won't start till this fall and it'll get into the winter. We think we might have a better bidding climate now than we had in March, actually. And I don't know that for a fact. It's just, you know, based on experience. And I think uh, we took out some, what I would call fluff, and we took out some things that would have been nice to have. But for example, two elevators within 100 feet of each other. Right. Take one out, you know. So they took one out, and the one was just for food service, and the one was for students and patrons. We left that one, but we made it just a little bit bigger and took the food service one out. So there's things like that that we did. Uh, there was a heating system underneath the the pavers in the front courtyard when you go into it. I said, yeah. "Yank it, okay? We can push snow. We know how to use shovels." <laughs> So that's, that's what we're going to do. So that was a big part of the mechanical. You know, we're, we're going to put a sand base under it. We're, we changed a lot of things to make it more economical, but not detract from the beauty or the function of the school. But the design that, and the, the video that goes through the building, the, the basic design is still the same. Still the same. And the garbage, the garbage dumpsters are still behind the wall inside the building. Yeah, it's changed from the video, but it's but it's much improved. But yes, it's on the south side of the building, but it's all enclosed. 
The enclosure is still there. We don't want to offend the neighbors. Are there any questions from the public? Hearing none, I close this, open this hearing, public hearing. Move on to the next item, which is the consent agendas. Um, summary of Appendix 9. And that's yeah, well, that's basically, a, a, we put that in your folder today, the admin content folder, if you want to look, that we put the revised drawing. So there's a lot of work that went into that, and it just, the pages that were changed were included in that set. It, you know, there's, this is a 500-page document. You don't need to change them all. We changed the ones that were relevant, and they're broken down by, by discipline. And if you want to look, they're in your folders. And those all the changes you just made? Yes, ma'am. And that was added today? Yeah, I just got it this morning. They've been working hard. I understand, but that's less than 24 hours. It is. Is that, is that not? We don't have a meeting scheduled for next week, and if we didn't get this in front of you, we'd have to put the whole project on hold. So we did the best we could. Is, that, is there a motion to approve? I'm going to leave for the next time. Second. Any discussion? Jim, have a raise your vote. I'm just going to do a roll call vote, if that's all right. <clears throat> Rotland. Yeah. Ressler. Yeah. Clawson. Yeah. Malone. Yeah. Eyestone. Yeah. Hemingway. Nay. Yeah. All votes have been cast and the motion carries with directors Rotland, Ressler, Clausen, Malone, and Eistone voting yay and director Hemingway voting nay. The next uh, item is adjournment. Uh, I move that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Thanks. Thanks.